Hey, welcome back to another video. Here we are doing the Thor Motor Coach Area 3701. Let's go inside and take a look. You now, some people, they do the outside first and then the inside. We're going to do the inside first and then the outside. I love these chairs. Nice oh, colored nice, uh, pattern nice here. Nice chairs. Alright, here we go. And just Right here, we just turned on the power right here, and then we just hit master light on, and that turned all the lights on. This is a rather interesting dashboard. It's just kind of uh, not a lot to it. It's pretty much right up in the front. Uh, it wouldn't work too well for us. We couldn't put our cat beds on there. No, interesting uh, radio, though. Slide. Wow, okay. look at that radio. That's a good size. What do you think that is? About 10 inches? It's about at least 10 inches, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look at about. A digital dash, but we don't attempt to have it. I guess we'd probably turn that on real quick. I'm not sure the battery's dead. But, uh. There it comes. Alright, look at that. Nice Freightliner. Freightliner, and this is a motorized shade here. It looks like we've got, just, well, actually, on this side, we've got. Uh, day, day and night shades. Day and uh, and night shades, although in the slow rise by Irvine Shade Company. Here we actually have some. Uh, this just opens up here. We have a little bit of storage up here. And um, let's put my little. We have light on here. we have storage on the other side. And we have storage over here. What do that? Matching storage. Matching. What about the front? Do they open? We also have a little cabinet in the front here with uh, some equipment. Oh, that's the HDMI switch for the TVs. And oh. is this a new style with the panel down? No, I think that's actually uh, something that might have come down in transport. You realize a lot of these things are driven from the manufacturer and they drive over the normal roads and sometimes these little things work loose if they don't drive over the roads smoothly. So here's a little side storage here. Here we have a nice little insignia TV here. Uh, here's a drop down bunch above me here. Yeah. Oh, I believe yeah. this is a studio collection. Wow, okay, a studio and, collection. Uh, and a nice matted finish here. And uh, I can see a lot of reading material here. And how far is that? I know my tape measure. I should have my. This is about probably half an arm length, probably about a little more than 12 inches. Oh, easily more than 12, probably like 16. And two, an adjustable shelf there for your plates and glasses, etc. Over here. We also have some additional storage. Uh, we have a really um, of a tile type look for the uh, your backsplash. backsplash here, <laughs> and a nice tweed balance. And what do you think about this balance? Do you like the pattern? Well, actually, it looks like it's missing something because it's got the sides but not across the crossbar. Yeah, that's very interesting. I mean, you usually see at least three pieces. Looks like this one only has the day sh the nightshade. Got a confection of it. Production top and some nice big drawers. Let's see. Let's open up. How does this open up anyway? I don't feel a way to open the darn thing. Oh, here on the side. <laughs> Hold us here. And there, that's, that's a good size convention microwave. You know, we have a, our microwave, we grab it from the bottom. This is like grabbing from the side. Some nice big drawers here. Induction cooktop, right? Uh -huh. Good size drawers. What about under? What's that? That's probably yeah, a little, little thing here for your sponges. What I'm not going to lift this up, but it is a two part sink. And oh, look at here. This is nice. Let's see. You got your little thing here. It's your latch. Wow, and there you go. you go. No no $100 trash can, though. No. <laughs> okay, um, over here we have a booth thing. Forget it. One more thing over here. Oh, the island. We have an island. Yes, yeah, see, that's and how that we opens have up. An island with drawers in it and touch our paint. Well, how far does that go wow. out? Actually, pretty good. I can sit here and do my. You wow. know what? I actually could make my bread in here. There you go. I can, you know. Now how does that drawer come out? I can make a lasagna. I'm not going to try. Why not? Probably pretty easy. There's a little, there's a little lever right here. And the whole thing. Oh, you said the drawer. <laughs> well, I meant the island. I meant the <laughs> island, don't I? Well, I guess. Okay, folks, can you see we haven't done too many videos on the uh, thing, but at least you get a realistic view. 
Okay, that nice uh, dinette set here. It is more narrow than most dinette sets. It's a little narrow. Got your two, three colors here. And uh, these actually make into a bed. Is that a solid surface? Uh, mm -hmm. Now these probably left up here. And it's probably, if there are anything like the new style. Yeah, I was thinking they were the new style, but I new don't style, see. New style, you take the cushion off. All right. Hit. All right. You sure? Positive. All right, then. That's stubborn little thing. Here we are tearing the coach apart. Okay, one pillow off. That swivels up from the front. Swivels up from the front. There you go. I'm going to lose those glasses. There you there go. go. See, that's, that's the storage underneath here, how that works. There you go. Unfortunately, there is no drawer storage, but at least you have access that way. Uh, and then, of course, the, the table comes down. This goes, and you can make a bed. And if you have seen coaches before, you probably know how that's done, so we're not going to do that today. I see now over here, they have the top of the ballot. See how much better finished that looks? It's kind of around the corners. Mm -hmm. That's what was missing in the kitchen. Very tweedy looking. What, what, what do we have above here? We have three. So there's tap three. With three drawers above the dinette. Three doors above the dinette. Cabinets, uh huh. Uh -huh. They're all interconnected. Yes. So you can actually stretch something through if you need something longer. And just to keep the line moving, there's four more straight down this side. And I think they're the same size, but they're not. And they are. These four are all open, so you can stick something long in there, a pole noodle, or I don't know, whatever else you might have. Well, that's about almost six feet long, I would say. I would say, yeah, because the sofa is about six feet long. Okay. We, have a three, we have a three piece sofa here. Three piece sofa, now is that. Yeah, I do not know. Do you know think that's a made into a bed at all? Is. Like I a jackknife? Sure it goes into a bed. No, it's not. Well, it has jackknife. a recliner on the end. Is that true? Well, if it ends, they hit the lever really well. But well, you would think it goes out. Well, this is a jackknife on this side. Okay. Well, actually, I think it might be a, I suspect it might be a three-part, yes. It's a trifold bed right here. And ah. that's a recliner, I think, okay. on the end. Well, there you go. We also have a pantry over here in the kitchen that we hadn't had a chance to show you yet with everything else going on. Okay, so that just comes out there and those yes, it's got a little safety latch, which is very tight here. Push it in. Oh, yeah, oh. turn it first. I know how these things work. You don't know. See? All right, so that, there's that, and then there's... And then the bottom one. Same idea. See, that one came right loose. Yeah, okay. It's like somebody carved the no, letter it's... in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually the wood grain, folks. The but... word F. Yeah. Oh. This is the Aria F model. Uh, folks, that really is there. We did not uh, stage that. No, it's okay. not. Okay. I, I don't think it's in all the way, but. There you now. go. Now, here we go. Undo the fridge lock, and one here we freezer, go. One freezer, one refrigerator in pieces. Well, it's actually the shelves have not been installed. Exactly. Yet. But a nice size freezer. And So here is a, a nice upper storage area here. Yeah, now since we cover some notebooks or keeping your travel records, you know? Yeah. That would be actually a good area to have. And here's a nice, this is probably a nice little, uh, just a 40 inch TV with a soundbar and a nice fireplace here. It's very, that fireplace looks very familiar. Now I can like this. This is right in front of me. I got the TV, I got the fireplace. I do need my feet up, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that comes out. It looks like it could. It looks but, like it could, but we but this, don't know how. So, guys, if you know how this goes out, how about you all drop us a line and tell feature? us. What's that feature? Press that feature button now. Feature button, okay. What's oh, this feature now? Lower left. It's a light. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> so over here and throw lights. So, if you guys know how this works or how this might recline, please well, drop us a line in the comments below. Yes. Okay, this is a one bathroom unit, as you can see. We have a split bathroom, the showers on this side. The bench has been six foot six. And let's go above the bar here and look at there. They give Ben's giving it a thumbs up. It meets the six foot six requirement. Now, what's uh, this? They actually have the head unit inside across the way here. Yes. 
in its own little closed in space. Almost remind me of a half bath, but it's not a half bath. Yeah, and it has a couple little cabinets. It looks like that actually goes through. So actually, that's a pretty good little storage underneath. <coughs> it is. And you have a medicine cabinet up here. Yes, I didn't really get a good look at that. All right, so here we have from left to right. And there shows you what the medicine cabinet's like. And there's a cabinet behind you. Yes, and folks, this is what I'm talking about. There's a you loose screw set. There's a loose screw somewhere. Okay, guys, if you buy this area, start hunting for the place the screw goes. Now, let's see. Also I am have, guessing it kind so of goes three in the shelves. latch here Yeah, somewhere. this one here. Now, how far does that go in there? These are quite long. I would say two feet deep. Okay, but they're not a square. It's like they're a wedge. They're not square. They are wedge-shaped. So wedge. if you wanted to do baskets or something, you couldn't. But you could roll up your towels, pile them nicely in the air, and you put notebooks up in the front if you wanted to. Well, it's into the bedroom. Oh my goodness, that's something I don't like. But oh wow, uh, yeah, I do not like this either. But imagine if the bed's out. Uh, well, the bed is out. Well, it turns it down and be over most of the way. Yeah, light. right now the bed is in an upright position. It's a tilt bed. Well, let's start from left to right. And what do we have here? Here's the wardrobe with the closet. It's got a metal rod as opposed to a wooden one. Um, and we have some additional drawers. Yeah. We have six drawers. Look at that, huh? They're good sized drawers. Now I've got, got a loose that? wire over there. <laughs> how about those drawers there? And look how we have a nice little egress window here. And actually, these go all the way out, so that's kind of a nice sized drawer. And another one, is that swing up or out? It swings out. Oh. Swings up, okay. And With here, a little safe in there. Well, here actually is, hold on, this goes up here. Well, so it's not a safe, it's actually some fuses. So it's just an access port, but at least it almost looks like a little safe. Yeah, I thought it was a safe there. And here, what's behind this door here, it looks like a washer and dryer. Oh, it is a washer and dryer. Well, it's, wow, it's just like the one in our touch. Yeah. Look at that. Whirlpool. Okay, Whirlpool. Okay, so now, we're, getting, we're, wait, sitting, we're going up. Is there any drawers? The well, let's, let's look at the drawer there. Is that, does that actually come out or is that... Well, wow, that's a good sized drawer there. Mm -hmm. Now, what about behind? There's a closet there. There is a closet. All right, so yeah, that's a little mat. That's a mat for up front. Uh huh. Now, a good sized closet. Yeah, okay. so you have the closet over there and the one over here. We have one on this side too, huh? Get a what, little. Uh, what about that? Is, that the, is that the same thing? It's time? the same way, it just goes through. Okay. I don't know why I have to have some shelves here. Okay, see? You see, cannot, you're discovering this RV with us. You, you can't assume. You cannot assume. You gotta open every door. Oh, now, before yes, we, every door, not do we, me. Let's, before we, I just want to do the top or do we want to do the bottom? Okay, okay. we have one, two, two, three, four, four, four doors on the bedroom slide. Ah, 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 ah. Sorry, my childhood days. I can't help but do the count whenever you count. Oh, we have a drawer under a big here. Drawer under the bed here. One big drawer. So you have this, and look here, they give you a little platform to sit over. There get you to go. It. And uh, I saw a drawer a there. Bed or something in there, possibly nothing too thick. I don't know if you can get a comforter well, in there. Yeah, it's actually what you forgot a door on that side. There's a door over here, a little actually, storage I door did. here. See, if and you, it's one if you right there on the other side. If you replay that, you'll see I didn't forget that. You didn't, huh? uh, I didn't. Okay, I'm so daisy. My, my mistake. All right, well. So what is this? Oh, this is towel racks. Look it up here. Oh, here. Towel racks on the You can the grab door. the bull by the horns. Okay, well, now that's the inside. Let's see the quick pan of the outside. Let's see if we can wrap this up within a few minutes. I don't know how much power I've got here. I just see it too long. Uh, All right, so let's, we're going outside now. So here we are. Now, if I remember right, the Thor is built on an Atlas foundation. I think we have heard many things of what Atlas stands for. Always true, level, and straight. What else? I don't remember the uh, other one. That's all I remember. Okay, well anyway, here is the... This is the Atlas Foundation. There we go. So... Our first bay is first just bay. kind of, uh, it's roomy. And 
here is a bay tray. Now let's see how far it goes out. Now look, it comes with a couple additional little yes, in case tiles. You, in case you didn't get a good look at the floor tile, folks, here we go. Isn't that pretty? Wow, look at kind that. Kind of a, um, I don't know, a nice beige. Now it's interesting enough that this actually doesn't lock in position. The tray doesn't lock. Some trays locked in the out position as yeah, well as in the in position. Here's a TV here with soundbar, another insignia model. And below that, we have another, uh, you can see through the bay, nice big, large bay. Mm -hmm. Wow, that it just seems to go on and on, doesn't it? It does, a lot of storage space there. And Over here, we have the wooder bay. Just the, no, it's just the basically where you do your. Uh, Potable water fill. Didn't I say water bag? No. Bag? <laughs> I got you on tape. <laughs> I did say water bag. So here's where your chassis batteries are. No, this is actually just a bay that holds the batteries. You actually fill the batteries on the other side. Anyway, enough of that comment. Okay, folks, we're having a little fun here. If you can't laugh with your husband, who can you laugh with? Okay, uh, this is like electronic band. Well, is your chassis battery disconnect, your solar charger controller, and your inverter. I, oh. It's a 2000 watt Xantrex X Pro. I don't know if that's sine wave, it's modified or not. I don't know. And we have a little tiny storage area here. No, give me storage sheet. There's no door on it. It'll fly out. And here we have a ladder. No, I'm not climbing up there. I did not want you to. Okay, let's And here's the head. XCR. So basically it's the 360 horsepower Freightliner raised rail chassis. And now this is basically a very wide door. This door is probably almost five feet long. Oh wow, look at how messy. Oh, that's kind of interesting how they did the channel for the cord, but there's no yes. reel in there. There's no short tour reel, but they have oh. a little slot going through there. And here is the uh, four, these are the uh, house batteries, 6 volt. So that's the battery bay. <laughs> that's the house battery bay. This over here is your gap, which happens to be diesel exhaust fluid. Or diesel emission fluid, depending on who you talk to. Ooh. Watch your fingers. And here we have the wet bag. And here's the old little can't leach water valve assembly. I have a question. What? Well, if it's a wet bag, why don't I see any water? <laughs> it's, it's like the wet shower inside a RV. It's not always wet, but it's basically it can get wet. This is the other side of the pass-through bay. This is the other side of the pass-through bay. So we have one, two, what's... I think the third one is probably the aqua hot. This is the other one that's yes, part of the yes. side mm -hmm. And this one would be the aqua hot, you think? No, propane. propane. So this is the propane does not have an aqua hot here. Well, maybe up front. No. no? It has propane, it doesn't have an aqua hunt. And that would be, I think that one. Now, and here's your hydraulic pump for your leveling jets. And so, um, I don't think, does that have a lever? There's a little lever right there that opens up the generator. We won't do that now, though, but. Um, Please forgive our sense of humor. We are a little lacking at times, but hopefully you were able to see the uh, Rio 3701 from our point of view. Open the doors to adventure. And start all your journeys. With the, the RV keys. Yay! Take three!